Yeah, welcome adventurers. So this is my second, my alternative choices playthrough where I just make a, just showing the differences to my normal playthrough. So it is a compilation of the differences. So, but one thing is of, of course different on my alternate alternative choices save file. I accepted Chloe's request. I stopped Warren from beating up Nathan and Frank got hurt. And well, Victoria believed our warning about uh, Jefferson. I guess it was a warning about Jefferson. Okay, these are the smaller choices if you're interested. Just pause the screen. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Shit! Jefferson kidnaps Victoria too? This is so bad! Okay. Hmm? Well, definitely a difference, guys. Victoria! Hey! Victoria! It's Max. Can you hear me? Max. Oh god! Where... where are we? Oh, what's happening? You've been drugged like Kate. And me. Do you remember how you got here? No. I don't know. Wait. You warned me. You warned me about Nathan. Then I went to Jefferson for help and he was acting so weird. That's the last thing I remember. And I can't move my hands. Help me, Max. Please. I'm sorry for everything. Listen carefully. Mark Jefferson kidnapped us. He's using Nathan as well. Jefferson is very dangerous, so we have to get out of here before he comes back. Max, I just can't believe this is real. I don't want to die like this. I'm only 18. Shh. <laughs> Nobody is going to die. I have a plan, okay? Victoria, please listen. I have a plan. Really? How, Max? I'm so scared. So am I. But we don't have time to be scared. We have to fight back. Now. Max, I can't even move my arms. How are we supposed to fight? I'm not going to let that asshole get away with this. I just... I need you to be strong. I can't do this alone. We need to act while we're clear-headed. If he doses us again, we'll forget everything. Then Kate Marsh was telling the truth. Even though I knew she wasn't lying. And I could have helped her, Max. But I hurt her. Now it's... It's my turn. Bullshit. Are we both here? We're both here. Okay? I just can't believe this is happening. That Jefferson would do this to me. To us. Victoria, we will find a way to escape. I promise. Max, I believe you. Yeah, definitely a change, guys. I'm not sure I want to try out if I can avoid David getting, scar uh, getting a scar in the fight. I tried to find some information on that on the internet, but I couldn't find anything. I've warned you about Nathan. You went to Jefferson for help. It's all my fault. Oh man. God, I'm sorry. Yeah, because she Please did. Please forgive me. She did believe our warning concerning God, Nathan. That was so fucking stupid. Oh man. Please. Please get us out of here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. As you can see, Sleeping Beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens. Artists don't drive teenagers to suicide for any bullshit muse. You trained Nathan to drug Kate, to take photos of her. That's why she's dead. Which makes me sad, Max. 
I will miss her. Kate had such a strong spirit. It was very satisfying to break it down. <laughs> you will not get away with this. Satisfying. I want you to know that. Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? Why? 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 <laughs> Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. Oh, not a change. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. <laughs> For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm not into capturing your interest. Lot. That's kind of sick, isn't it? <laughs> I guess somebody hasn't had their coffee. Do you want to try again? Okay, okay, the Daguerrean process. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's move on. I went from the dark room to this gallery. I've been through so many realities in one week. Life is weird. I know it's kind of simple. But... So, how are you handling your new fame as a photographer? I don't feel like a famous photographer yet. Every journey starts with the first step. I'm only a Blackwell bureaucrat, not an artist. But you've made us proud with the great response to your work so far. Okay. Now I actually have the chance to speak with him before I, because I didn't interact with the Maxine's photo. It's kind of surreal to be here after everything that happened at Blackwell. All the more reason to celebrate your success. Maybe I feel guilty for celebrating. Leave that to me. I I should have been more proactive about Kate Marsh and her awful situation. She's strong, and I'm glad she made it out of that hell. I should have put my foot down with Nathan Prescott. Or put my foot in his ass. I did tell you that Nathan was involved. Not that I expected anyone to believe me. I'll regret that for the rest of my life, Max. Prescott's knew how to protect their own, and Jefferson had such a great reputation. Nobody expected him to be so disturbed. I couldn't believe the police found those sick photos in his dark room. Oh, those poor girls. At least he's in jail along with Nathan for kidnapping and murder. And Sean Prescott is now under serious investigation for all his years of corruption. Money and power can only protect you for so long at Arcadia Bay. The irony is that for once, Sean Prescott actually had no clue what was going on with Jefferson. And he even brought him to Blackwell. Okay, guys. Yeah, that is definitely something I missed in my normal playthrough. Now if we can just figure out what's going on with the weather, maybe everything will be like it was before. Environmental science is above my pay grade, Max. But it sure would be nice to get back to Blackwell Academy the way it was before. I'm hoping this is a fresh start, Principal Wells. Like I said before, you're an adult now, Max. You can call me Ray. Oh, at least for this event. Now, if you'll excuse me, I hear the buffet calling me again. Well, that is different. Loving the retro vibe. Journalist? Hi, excuse me, you're Max Caulfield, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Sorry to bother you, but my name is Danny Lee, and I'm with the Berkeley People's Herald. I edit their art section, and I totally dig your work. Now, I know the whole ironic selfie thing is kind of played out, but there's something timeless about your images. So I I'd love to set up an appointment or, or interview with you when you get a chance. 
Uh, here's my card. So great talking with you, Max. You too, Danny. Uh huh. How could I miss him the first time? Okay. And I missed this couch. Kinda. I can't believe I'm in San Francisco. How can I process this after all the death I've seen this week? I wish Chloe was here with me now. Without her, I couldn't have fought Jefferson. And she always pushed me to not be shy about my photos. Even if that feels so trivial after what happened with Rachel and Kate. But for whatever reason, I have this power. I hope I finally used it right. Answer my question, please. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Good answer. Yeah. Good answer. Oh. I had to let Victoria Chase go. You let her? Don't be stupid, okay? She's exactly where she deserves to be. Uh-huh. No. What no. does... As if you care. What does he mean? Uh, excuse me, but my, my throat is scratchy. Can I please have some water? Of course. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. This final dose won't hurt. What? No gun. No balls. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. Maybe this is no... David Madsen! Of course. Well, this is what you get for playing cop. Uh, okay. A real Listen, it's over! You are not going to stop me! Huh? Hey? Sorry, Madsen. Not going to stop me! Grab your gun now! Got it! No! <laughs> Christ! David Madsen, you are one stupid son of a bitch! So don't blame me. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop. Me. David, kick that table. Yeah, yes, sir. table now. <laughs> no. David Madsen. I always hated that mustache. You hated him too, Max. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So this is the way how Damn, he... Damn, I missed something. How he doesn't get I a scar. Yeah, but how can I make him survive? Not going to stop me. Come on, now we use the cable. BAM! And David Madsen oh, has no scar, relax. guys. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you alright? The Prescott's had to know about this. Oh. That's Victoria's bracelet. Oh, okay. I bet Jefferson was going to use that to frame Nathan. Hey, Max. I'll never forgive myself for what happened to Kate. I feel like I helped push her off that roof. Not his fault. Don't blame yourself. Nathan and Jefferson are the ones who put her up there. We... We are a great team. That's one of my problems. I'm not good at teamwork. Never was. Even in the service. I can't even imagine what you went through. I'm not going to make any excuses for my behavior. I tried to be a good soldier, but I wasn't so great. 
I tried to be a good father, too. But you saw how that went. But they are still family, guys. You tried, Chloe is tough. Ah, oh, come on. You tried. It's obvious you care. Even if your methods are... Fucked up. I know. I'm glad I stood up for you. I try not to use my service as an excuse, but... It's hard to come home after war. Most people don't know or care what it's like. Except Joyce. She gave me hope. A new life. So, where is Chloe? Nope, this time we won't tell him. <laughs> David, um... She was pretty stressed out, so... Um, she went to go... Um, medicate before I ended up in here. So, she's okay. Oh, thank God. For once I'm happy Chloe's a stoner. <laughs> David, I, I have to go outside and get some real air. And use my phone. Of course. Go on, Max. You're a brave soldier. I'm glad Chloe has a best friend like you. Go on now. You've seen enough of this room. Okay, teacher. Let's see what kind of photo evidence you shit all over this computer. And Jefferson will end up in jail. But Chloe is dead. You are gonna fry for this. Not for long. And now he sits here at the, at the computer, yeah. But I'm picking up the necklace anyway. Yeah, 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 I can see it. Where's the fucking trucker here? Ah, here, Loy. The guy's trapped. I have to help everybody I can. Nice kid. Are you okay? Once I get the hell out of here, I was trapped here because I got stuck in this shithole delivering logs after the railroad was closed down. You better go now. And I ain't never coming back here. You need a lift? No, thanks. I have to find a friend. You go, girl. You go. Oh no. Yeah. We didn't warn or sh we didn't give her the warning about a tornado. Oh no. I should have warned her. I never even asked her name. So selfish. Frank, I'm so glad you're here. Are you okay? What? Besides this tornado, the hole in my leg, and the fact that my dog is dead. Not to mention I could die on the floor of a diner, and you're the last person I might see? Oh, I'm yeah. Cool. Jesus. But you're cool. Yeah, we are cool anyway, guys. Even after all the shit. Safe. She's safe, Joyce. She just sent me a text before my phone died. Oh, thank God. I was torturing myself before you showed up. Oh, God, if something happened to Chloe while well, I ended up stuck at this diner again. I'm sorry about all this, Joyce. Don't be, honey. It's not like you whipped up this tornado on your own. David is a hero. David is a real hero. I, I don't know what he's gone through in the war, but I can imagine. And he even showed me how to find my own strength under extreme conditions. I am so glad to hear you say that, Max. I know he's not always an easy person to defend. Most people only see him at his worst. You've seen him at his best. And that's the man I want in my life. I know you didn't come for me. No. <laughs> I came for all of you. Not for him. Hey. Be careful out there. Uh, this time I just leave. <laughs> Watch out for Joyce. And Frank. I got this, Max. Go on. Go I'm on. I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super Max. I always wanted my life to be special. 
an adventure, but not without you. What? Did I miss this bloodstain the first time? I'm sorry, Kate. It's about time somebody finally killed Chloe. <laughs> Think of how often that bitch almost got me killed. Hey, Kate. Max. How could you let me jump off a roof? You were the only person I trusted here. Yeah. You never really listened to me. Now I'm never going to heaven. Instead, you've stuck me in hell. Alone forever. No! Kate, I, I was only trying to save you. Yeah, and my alternative choice is Kate is dead. Ah, okay, during this section we can see that Rachel's room is 224. Oh man. Okay guys, so here in the <laughs> section where just everything is reversed, we get the message from Jefferson. How fucking hard is it to turn in one goddamn cell? Yeah, Jefferson. Oh man. All right, guys. Without collecting the bottles, you can't make the photo here. But well, well, don't need it. You fucked up time and space for your precious punk Chloe. <laughs> you think she's worth all that? <laughs> okay, destiny. This has to be my destiny to save her. I wouldn't be trapped in here if I didn't believe that. No kidding. Chloe trapped you with her drama. Guns, drugs, Rachel. Even stealing money from the handicapped fund. She's just using you, dude. Like, she even asked you to end her life and do what she couldn't do by herself. Chloe does a better job of guilt tripping me than you do. Because you let her bully you. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. But you didn't do that homework. So you'll have to learn the hard way. Like Rachel. Just shut up. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously glad to see you. Welcome home, Max. Fasten your seatbelt. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real f This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Let's talk about your superpower. Oh, just running through, guys. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Is that a change? You saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. Max, you better come check out these files. Cowabunga! Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off. Photobomb! Photobomb. I double dare you. Kiss me now. Sorry, not that easy. Yeah. Uh, like I am? Just admit that you already macked on me, then used your rewind. Now I can text Warren that you're saving yourself all for him. You're such a dork. <laughs> this is a little change. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? I know. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Dude, I... It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. Oh, awesome picture. We look so bad. Chloe, you're back. Kate wasn't the first. All the... Rachel! No, Rachel, no, no, please not her! Come on, Max, we're almost there. Almost there, almost there guys. At the end. Max, come on now. Don't worry, don't worry. We'll be okay. This is my storm. I caused this. I caused all of this. I changed fate and destiny so much that I actually did alter the course of everything. And all I really created was just death and destruction. Fuck all that, okay? You were given a power, you didn't ask for it. And you saved me, which had to happen, all of this did. Except for what happened to Rachel. 
But without your power, we wouldn't have found her! Okay, so you're not the goddamn Time Master, but you're Maxine Caulfield! And you're amazing! Max! This is the only way. I, I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago. You... You could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to... To... Fuck that. No. No way. You are my number one priority now. You are all that matters to me. I know. You prove that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my... my step... Father deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once, I think I should accept my fate. Our fate, Chloe. Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real, and they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this choice. No, Max. You're the only one who can. Yeah, what can I say about this fucking set? And let me tell you, William Shakespeare, he wrote so many famous novels and he kind of invented some rules how a story can really affect and excite people. One of those rules is to make it dramatic, there must be death involved. And this time, sacrificing Chloe means we go back to the very first point. So it would be now that Maxine and Chloe, they never spoken a word again when Maxine returned to Arcadia Bay. Because Chloe will get shot by Nathan. Max, it's time. Chloe, I'm so, so sorry. I, I don't want to do this. I know, Max, but we have to. We have to save everybody, okay? And you'll make those fuckers pay for what they did to Rachel. Being together this week, it was the best farewell gift I could have hoped for. You're my hero, Max. Oh, Chloe! I'm gonna miss you so much! I'll always love you. Now get out of here, please! Do it before I freak! And Max Caulfield, don't you forget about me. Never.
And now it's Monday again. Her first school day in Arcadia Bay, I guess. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho!
Yeah guys, so this was my second playthrough of Life is Strange. Alternative choices. There were only some small differences. Yeah. Well, the main one of course decided to sacrifice Chloe and I guess most people will call it a good ending, whatever. Personally, I just think don't not entertainment, they can take their endings, I will just make my own. I don't like uh, either one of those, but okay, it's how it goes. And especially if, if a story is kind of like William Shakespeare's uh, drama and whatever. He is the one, I mean, you know stories of him like Romeo and Julia and whatever, and there are many more. And especially he creates drama when something is not true and then a lot of shit happens and even people die or get some serious blame, yeah, although they are innocent. Anyway, smaller, smaller stuff was David didn't got a star during the fight, no kill Jefferson, I saved the trucker. Didn't change Joe's mind about David because there was no need, there was still a family. Ah, but well, no, ch no affection for Warren. Wasn't a huge deal those two choices in the in this episode. Well, much more differences in the previous four episodes. But anyway, I'm really looking forward to the next game. I'm I heard it will I've read somewhere it will be something about vampires and choices will will have definitely consequences and whatever. I can't remember more because I don't think there was more about it. Anyway, but Dick, if you could ask me, why not make another Life is Strange game and just create whatever you want? Yeah, just give it another timeline, another reality and just have more of Maxine and Chloe. Yeah, I would definitely enjoy that. Anyway, see ya!